Hi everyone, Andy Trice back again, and today I want to talk about um, some of the new features in Adobe Camera Raw 8.2 and Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5.2 release candidates that were posted on Adobe Labs last week. One of the new features in both Camera Raw and Lightroom 5.2 is lens profile support for one of these. This is a GoPro Hero 3 Black. Uh, there is support for the, the GoPro Hero 3 models, and what this is is a Really awesome camera. I love the GoPro camera. Um, it's tiny, comes with a waterproof enclosure. You can mount it on just about anything. People mount them on their cars, on surfboards, on boats. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is actually mount it on a remote control helicopter. Um, it takes it has, yeah, really great pictures. It has uh, you know vivid colors, and it's also got a fisheye lens, so it's actually a 170 degree lens, so you can capture a lot of whatever you're trying to record. But there's often instances where you don't always want all of that, uh, you know, with the fisheye distortion. Uh, so it, it can go either way. You can have really great fisheye style pictures, but you can use Camera Raw um, and Photoshop or Lightroom to actually go ahead and remove the fisheye effect and correct your images. And then you can take those and do a lot of really cool things like photo merges and really high resolution panoramas. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you can now do with the latest versions of Camera Raw and Lightroom that are available right now on labs.adobe.com. So let's take a look. So I've already got some images loaded that I want to show the GoPro support in. First, let's take a look at this image I have, which I captured with my helicopter. You can see that there's the fisheye distortion. It's got a wide angle. There's curvature on the horizon, and, you know, there's curvature on the street, the lamp posts. It's a really, um, I mean, this is my personal opinion. I think it's kind of a cool image. But let's go ahead and show how you enable uh, lens profile corrections to get rid of that lens uh, profile and fisheye distortion. So inside the develop tab, scroll down to the lens, cor lens correction pod on the right hand side. And all that you have to do is hit the checkbox to enable profile corrections. Lightroom will automatically recognize the make and model of the camera based upon the metadata that's encoded in the image. If for some reason it didn't find your make and model based on the metadata, you can always go in and make and select GoPro uh, and then select your model. But what that did was apply a correction to the lens distortion so you can see that the horizon is no longer curved, the road is no longer curved, that the street lights are now straight again. And the default correction amount is 100, and this corrects the distortion of the image. But let's say if you wanted slightly less distortion, you can decrease that value. Or if you wanted to overcompensate for the distortion and kind of go the other way with it, you can push it up to 200, and you can see that now the horizon actually curves in the opposite direction, and it, it gives kind of an interesting perspective to the picture. We'll put it back to 100, and let me just turn it off so that you can compare again, and we'll turn it back on. Now let's take a look at a couple other images that I've shot with the GoPro. So this is... This is the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Again, I shot this with a helicopter. You can see that there's a pretty significant amount of curvature on the horizon based upon the lens distortion. And the bridge itself already had some curves to it, but you can see that that's been greatly exaggerated based upon the distortion from the lens. And I've already cropped this image. If I were to go ahead and show cropping, you can see the, what the full image would look like. But let me go ahead and scroll back down here to lens profile correction. Sorry, lens correction, and enable profile corrections. And you can see that simply by selecting that checkbox, it already detected the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, and we've now got a straight horizon. We've got less distortion of the bridge, and if we zoom in, you can really see that it looks much better and as compared to the uncorrected version. There's just a lot more curvature and distortion in the image especially when we get to the edges. Now let's go ahead and jump over to one more image and I'll go ahead and zoom out and we'll turn on the lens profile correction. And you can see, again, we now have a straight horizon. We've got straight roads. And if I zoom in, you can see that the light posts are vertical, the roads are straight, everything lines up accordingly. Now there can be a little bit of distortion uh, on the edges from the lens profile correction, but 
it, it all depends on how you really want to use the images. And if you're going to composite them, do a photo merge, like a, a panorama, you really want to get rid of that lens distortion, and then you can create a much better panorama. And now that leads me into Adobe Bridge. Let's look at how you can apply the lens correction across multiple images at, at one time. So I've already got some images selected here in Adobe Bridge. And what I'm going to do is actually turn these into a panorama. So I'll just take the images that I've selected, right click and open in Camera Raw. And this is, opens up the Camera Raw dialog with all the images selected. In here I could go ahead and I could tweak colors, exposure, contrast, whatever. But what I want to do is apply the actual lens correction. So I'll hit Control A to select, or excuse me, Command A and select all of them. Then we'll go over to Lens Corrections and we can see the profile here. We'll enable lens profile corrections. And again, this automatically selected the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. And we can adjust the amount of distortion. If you want to see the grid, how things are applied, you can do that. But if we go through and look at each one of the images, you can see that we now have a straight horizon and the lens distortion has been removed. So we'll hit Done. Now all of these images have the lens distortion removed. And if I want to take all of these and put them into a single panorama, you can just keep the same selection, then go to Photoshop and Photo Merge. What this is going to do is open up Photoshop and do a photo merge based upon those images that you had selected that we just applied the lens correction to. The Photo Merge dialog is open, and we can select the different options, whether we want it to be spherical, cylindrical, perspective, or we just use the auto option. I, I generally just use the auto option. And you can see the files that are selected, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, this is going to take all those images that we selected, uh, analyze their content, and align all of it based upon the content, and it'll make any changes to perspective or rotation or um, any kind of you know, specific deformations that can be detected. And the end result's gonna be a larger panorama that's kind of a composite of those images which were selected. So let's wait for this to finish. It should be any minute now, and we'll take a look at the, at the result. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. Let's go ahead and hide the history that we have here. And what we've got is a panorama that's a merge of those images that we've selected. I'll go ahead and crop this down so we have something that's a little bit prettier for formatting. Oh, looks like I left off corner. We'll make that slightly smaller. And now we've got a panorama that is based upon the, the, the photo merge of the images that we had selected, which originally had that pretty extreme fisheye distortion. Now we've already looked at how to apply lens correction to a single image in Lightroom, how to apply it to multiple images in Bridge. You could do the exa exact same thing to a single image in Photoshop, but you can also do this to video in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and switch over to Photoshop and apply lens correction to an actual video. So now we've switched over to Photoshop where I've already got a video file loaded. The first thing that you need to do is turn this into a smart object. Otherwise, if you apply lens correction, it'll only be applied to a single frame instead of the entire video. So we can just right click on the layer and convert to smart object. Let's take just a minute. Now once it's a smart object, we can go ahead and if we wanted to apply different filters, we can. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select lens correction. Now the lens correction dialog has opened and I'm gonna go ahead and select a camera. So we'll select GoPro, we'll select Hero 3 Black Edition, lens models, Hero 3 Black Edition. And you can see that when this has been applied, the horizon is now straight. The roads and everything have the fisheye distortion removed from them. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that it's now been applied as a smart filter. So I can turn it on and off and we can see the difference. Now let's look at these side by side. We'll put the, the original, which has the fisheye distortion, right next to the corrected version, which has the uh, fisheye and lens correction profile applied to it. You'll see that the field of view has changed and while you can get some really cool shots with the fisheye distortion, if you want to remove it from shots, you now have that ability to very easily do so. So there you have it. That's the new GoPro lens correction support available in Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, go download it today from labs.adobe.com. Thanks.